Hello, this is Toby the Roby from Nerdside.com, back with another Warcraft 3 World Editor tutorial. Um, this time I'm going to show you how to create a leaderboard in Warcraft 3 World Editor. This is, it's like the, uh, for example, if you have the kills table, who has the most kills, stuff like that. Um, and first, I just want to say thank you to all the positive comments and stuff. It means a lot. Thank you. Uh, but let's uh, move on. Uh, we only need the um, trigger editor for um, making a uh, leaderboard. Sorry. Um, just do this. Uh, we need uh, three variables and two triggers. Um, you just create two triggers like that. And just call them whatever you want. I'm just going to call them random stuff. Uh, there you go. Okay, uh, and just open your variable editor or and create three new variables. Uh, one of them is going to be called kills, like that, and that's going to be an array and it's going to be a uh, integer. Didn't create a, a trail about arrays, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to show you. Uh, Bit how arrays work. Arrays are like uh, it's kind of hard to explain. You can like store a bunch of different values in one variable. So um, you can have like kills one two three four five. So you can add uh, kills one equals one, kills two equals two, kills three equals three, and so on. So you can have like a bunch of variables in one variable. Yeah. Uh, click OK, create one new variable, call it uh, leaderboard, and that's going to be a leaderboard type of variable. And we need, um, let's call this X, because this is just going to be uh, just a number, really. Click OK, and okay, I got an email of those. Okay, kills here, and Leaderboard. Well, oh. board. <sighs> yeah, probably spelled that wrong, but okay. Who cares? <laughs> uh, we need an event for this. Uh, we're going to like uh, display the um, leaderboard. Uh, and you can't use map initialization. I don't know, but, but it doesn't work. So you have to use the time, time elapsed. For example, let's say one second. So after one second of game time, uh, the uh, leaderboard will display. So, uh, no condition unless you really need that. And the action will be um, uh, leaderboard create for all players. Title kills. Or if you want, like, uh, whatever the value you want. I'll say deaths if you want that instead. Um, you have these um, things called multi boards also, which can display kills and deaths on the same table. You can actually display a bunch of values on the same table. On leaderboard, you can only display one value. Um, I'm going to show you how to create the multi board in the later tutorial. Uh, just that. That's pretty advanced, so I have to like prepare a bit for it. Um, a leaderboard created for all players called to the kills and now we're going to add all the playing players in the leaderboard because now the leaderboard is completely empty so click L for the leaderboard and uh, add player oh sorry cancel I just go here new action click P go in and find player group pick every player in play group and do multiple actions uh, click in players in uh, find all players matching condition and the condition will be um, player slot status so if um, if I'm pick player up here pick player okay okay so pick play equal equals to is playing then it will add it to the uh, leaderboard because if let, let's say you have maximum of 10 players in your e map and let's say only two are playing, then we'll show like ten players, and the the value of that will just be zero and all, and then all of them, and uh, yeah, but totally unnecessary. Just takes a lot of space, and yeah. So now only the playing players will be shown in the uh, uh, leaderboard. 
Of course, we gotta add them first. Uh, out for the leaderboard. Uh, find add player. Add. Oh. Pick player. To. Well. Yeah, like. Uh, label. Name of the player. Find player, player name. Name of. Pick player. And value zeros. Okay. We forgot one thing. We have to set the variable, the um, leaderboard variable. Set variable set leaderboard to value to last created leaderboard. Okay, so just take last created leaderboard works, but I'm just gonna do the variable easier. Okay, okay. Um, now we need to um, show the leaderboard. Just take. Uh, a new action leaderboard find show hide hi no show leaderboard okay so now we got that right now we'll be, now it will display um leaderboard but uh nothing will happen if you say zero like forever so we had to add the numbers when someone kills a unit so Unit new event uh unit a unit ge a generic unit event a unit dies uh, if you want a condition let's say you only want to display hero kills for example only when the uh, killing player kills the hero for example like Dota uh, or if you want only when he kills um, the, the unit owned by a specific player for example you can just add an action no no sorry condition it doesn't matter the uh, action will work anyway so. Action. Uh, go ahead and do um, uh, set variable. Find x and set x to uh, player number. Player number of owner of unit. Owner of killing unit. Okay, 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 okay. So. This will be the array number of our kills um, variable. Let's take one more set variable, set kills, and you say it has the index, so you can set like a value like one and blah blah. blah. But we want the uh, kills to be x. So the owner player n number of owner of killing unit will be the index of kills. So let's say this is player one, player red. Then we'll kills one equals like the kills of player red. If it's player blue that kills somebody, it will be two there, and then we we'll kills the index equals the kills of player blue. So what we gotta do now is take arithmetic, uh, take kills index x, so itself. In other words, if this is player blue, it will also be like player two here, plus one. So, if this is two, let's say player blue, it will be kills two by blue, equals kills two plus one. So, um, you don't have to create create like one uh, unit dice uh, and add kills thingy for each player. You can just do it on one trigger. Way simpler, like that. All right. Uh, so, leaderboard. Change, uh, yeah, there. Change player value for owner of unit, owner of killing unit. So the owner of killing unit to the leaderboard with number kills and X. And there you go. You got a finished, um, pretty simple, pretty quick leaderboard. Uh, this is like the easiest way ever to do it, or not the easiest, but the quickest. I hope you understood the the array thingy. I think I'm gonna create another tutorial about it. It's kind of hard to understand, but hopefully you understood this. Um, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna try to make another tutorial about it, but yeah. Um, and uh, that was it. So, um, see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.